what's happening now? Uh, I'm trying to look for the main campaign and see. It plays until game over. Uh, versus. Let's see. That's the one. Okay. Cool. Well, cool. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, the other interesting thing is that I think Monster House utilizes motion capture in such a great way because motion capture, especially during that time, was still in the very much uncanny valley, and I feel like that helped with the the tension and the aesthetic that the movie wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And it is also one of the few motion capture movies that I know of that make stylistic choices not going into hyper-realism, which was a big, uh, big problem with Robert Zemeckis movies, especially. Uh, I mean, I respect Zemeckis for wanting to bring motion capture and experiment with that software. I will give him credit for um, uh, the Polar Express. Po Polar Express and the Jim Carrey Christmas Carol, I think, are his best ones using motion capture. I have yet to see that movie. It's on Disney+. Plus. Well, yeah, I would expect it be from Disney. I actually saw... The first time I saw Christmas Car the Jim Carrey Christmas Carol was on my uncle's 3D TV. He actually had one of those 3D TVs. Oh my god, that's actually a thing? Uh, th that was like a thing that was like a, a blip back when they also had 3D Blu-rays. Uh-huh. And, um, you know, that died out. But it it was a very, a very great experience. I mean, it, it, it says a lot that I've seen both of the two best Zemeckis motion capture films in 3D, because I went to go see Polar Express in the only way you could truly experience Polar Express. In a theater? In an IMAX 3D theater. <laughs> that was, I think... I remember my mom saying that was the only animated film experience she loved seeing in theaters because of just how immersive it was. Because, of course, my mom doesn't like animation. Um, well, whatever. But, yeah. But no, it's just the it's the kind of thing of. Um, it was very well done. I I know some people have mixed opinions about the Carrie film, but it is one of the most faithful adaptations and. In my opinion, Jim Carrey is one of the best actors that we have in Hollywood, and is also, when you actually look at his filmography, is um, is an actor that was able to transfer from comedy to drama really well early in his career. Wasn't a, one of his movies uh, 23? Yeah, and that was not, you know, that wasn't too far off of like the Ace Ventura Dumb and Dumber days. He, I mean, he did great in The Truman Show. I have yet to see the Truman that Show. That movie is fantastic. Um, but he he did a fan... Because the fact is, he played all the ghosts in the, Christmas, in the Christmas Carol and Scrooge himself. Which... And he does a distinct character for each one. Mm -hmm. And for people who've seen the movie, the Ghost of Christmas present scene, you know, when the clock tolls its time, is one of the most... <laughs> disturbing things that I've seen in, cine in cinema, but it is, I think, the best version of the greed and, uh, what is it? Greed and pride child scene from the book. Um, I mean, still, my favorite version of Christmas Carol will always be the Muppets one. But, the, the Jim Carrey one is a close second. Oh, yeah, Tintin is also a fantastic mocap film. That was Spielberg. Oh, is that the is that that movie that was like a kids version of Indiana Jones? Well, no. Tintin is an adaptation of a French comic, and it is fantastic. It has a beautiful art style. Still looks good to this day. Um, I'm still waiting on the sequel. I can wait 14 years. <laughs> kind of like with the uh, The Incredibles too. <laughs> Clone High and everything, because it was such a good movie and people liked it. Like it wasn't a. I mean, it wasn't a blockbuster hit box office-wise, but it did good. Actually, I think, like, something about it had controversy at the Oscars because it had the, um... It brought up the argument whether or not motion capture animation counts in the animated film category. Well, they kind of did a similar tactic with uh, the 70s when they had, um... 
their own type of motion capture uh, at that time. I forgot what it was called. Rotoscoping. But Rotoscoping, yeah, yeah. Like, but no, the thing is, is that I think they concluded that motion capture counts as a visual. Can only be counted for like the visual effects technical award and not for animation, even though. That's full. That's full of shit. It's it's weird, but the Oscars has a lot of gatekeeping. I, I mean, no. They shit. they have they, they no yeah. they have some well, shitty I mean, background. One, one of the gatekeeping that they have was um. Richard Williams' uh, Christmas Carol, another Christmas Carol, um, I was nominated for Best Animated Short. Mm -hmm. But the thing was, it was technically a TV special, but it was screened at the same t in theaters the same time it went on TV, and they had to make a whole new because it won. It, they had to make a whole new rule that it could it cannot air on television first. It has to be like screened in a cinema, which is also why a lot of. Um, a lot of animated short films that win at Academy credited film festivals don't get nominated because they put them out on the internet first. So mm -hmm. it has to be screened at. It has to either win an award at an Academy accredited film festival mm -hmm. or it has to be screened in like seven different theaters mm -hmm. to be uh, on, to be considered for the shortlist. So it's I look this stuff up because you know I want to release short films, so I need to know which film festivals to submit them to. Well, just in general, like it's always fascinating to understand the um, the history behind filmmaking in just so many ways. Yeah. After this round, can I can I get a turn? Sure. Um. Yeah, Mickey, I've, the I've Mickey had... Mouse version is good. Of uh, the Disney uh, Christmas Carol. Yeah, I'm reading the chat now. Yeah, I like that one. Go on. Um, have you ever seen the Powerpuff Girls Z anime? Yes, I have. It is a, an interesting interpretation. I will give it, it does something different. Because, have you ever seen the Powerpuff Girls Z? No, I haven't. Okay, the whole idea with Powerpuff Girls Z is that instead of uh, Professor Utonia making them in a lab and being birthed, they were actually girls, but this chemical X accident, like... Mutated have, them have or you something? Ever, have you ever seen Sailor Moon? I've seen part- I, I remember it as a kid, I didn't know much of its lore. Well, well, you know how, like, the villain of the week would be Queen Beryl infects other people and they mm -hmm. become monstrous virgins? That's basically how the Powerpuff Girls Z thing happens, except, like, they get infected with a chemical X virus, so- but- and they have to, like, you know, restore them back to normal. But the- but the girls get infected- infected. They get that, and so- it's essentially if Powerpuff Girls was a magical girl anime. So they're not related to each other, they're just friends. And they just stumble and upon each other. And they all have, like, uh, respective weapons, I think. Uh, Bubbles has, like, um, a hammer or something. It's been a while since I've seen it, but... Uh, have you considered making animation history culture videos, and if not, who are the best channels for it? Um, Peter, I actually... Uh, if people are wondering what, uh, content that I have up in the pipeline, I told you about this. Uh, a lot of my content now that I want to put out on my channel is about, like, um, like, animation, culture, history of why certain things are, and when I act- when I analyze, like, an individual piece of media, like, say, a movie, I- Go, it, I actually had, the reason why these things take so long is that I actually contact people who worked on said thing because I feel like a big problem, and this is not for channels that I like in mm -hmm. the cartoon community, if you want good cartoon animation community videos, Rebel Taxi, Yes, wonderful. I enjoy Rebel Taxi. Sa Saber Spark does take the effort to look stuff up. Oh, absolutely. And also prefaces that he is not uh, an animator. He is not an artist. He just so, he so, just he's so fascinated with he, it. There is no um, veneer that he knows more than he does, which I respect. But Rebel Taxi is someone that actually does animation, does web comics, goes into the history of certain things. Um, so I can only recommend I can recommend those up and down. Um, but the, 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 um, the thing is, I feel like it's fascinating to see how, I use this term a lot now because I'm Hamilton trash, how the sausage gets made, and I feel like, I feel like, uh, it would be more substantial to 
not just give my opinion and make assumptions about how each individual production experience is and hear it from the horse's mouth. Uh, I, I essentially want my, my new analytical content to not just be uh, my opinion, but also kind of invoke elements of the uh, behind-the-scenes featurettes we used to get on DVDs. Mm -hmm. so, you, so you learn something. You don't just hear my opinion and whether that is an opinion you don't agree with or it's an echo chamber. Because I feel like we become more understanding of an audience when we take the effort to know how our our uh, media is made. Because I feel like we make so many assumptions of, you know, the, the exaggeration of the press animation, to press to make animation button, or this is off model when it's a smear frame, or it's a storyboard driven show, and we don't know the communication between the overseas animators and the storyboard artists. And, and I, I can understand that. Um, and I'm not going to, like, devalue the, the intent behind it. I think the reason why a lot of people are more relegated to voice and what their thoughts are is because it's whatever impression they give, other people may have had the same kind of impression, and it would just give potentially like content creators the idea of, okay, so our intention was this, but their impression was that. What can we do to try to I fix mean, yeah, that? Yeah, I mean, like, there is an argument to be made of uh, intent versus impact. Mm -hmm.